Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dying Light 2 series. I uh, hope you're all enjoying the series so far. Um, last episode, we captured one of the bandits' like bases, stronghold little thingies. Uh, and then we had like a pretty big decision to make on whether we were going to go help Sophie or whether we were going to go tell Ader what was going on. I kind of feel like after overhearing that conversation in episode 11 or 10 or 10 maybe um about Barney just killing the the commander I I'm pretty pretty strong on that that's the reason so I made the decision to go tell Ader what was going on and he has told us we have to go get the water tower so that way they have a little bit of control over the survivors at Bazaar and Hopefully they will tell us a little bit quicker who killed the commander. It's probably going to start a war of some kind, some kind of little... I mean, the, our whole point is trying to find our sisters, so we're just really looking to go to the commander over, uh, or the commander's killer over to Ader as fast as we can so we can get to the city center. But for now, we're stuck doing all these little side quests, trying to find all these little bitty ways to try to get into the city center, so... Right now, we're going to go take this water tower and uh, hope that gets us a little bit closer. If you are enjoying the series, I really appreciate you guys. We had a couple new subscribers, so I'm going to keep punching out content as fast as I can. And hey, what's the status? It looks like the bandits fled the water tower. It's unoccupied. Ader wants to take control of the water and force the bizarre folk to talk. So this is how he's looking into Lucas's murder. He's not such an idiot after all. But watch out for Joe. Oh, fuck. The guy's a clown, but he's dangerous. I doubt he'd just run off like that. Serious. Something funky. Who is that? Fuck you. Dale's a fucker. Like this? Let me go. Oh, shit. Anyways, as I was saying, we got a couple new subscribers, so I'm going to keep uh, pumping out the content. Um, well. I can see you. Ow, that hurts. Alright, low on health. Apparently I don't have any heals. So now we gotta make some medicine real quick. Um, yeah, this series is going really well. I actually really like this game. It's a really fun little little game. I've been having troubles finding games that I actually appreciate lately. But like the story in this game seems to be pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's it's very it's very uh, interesting to me as far as uh, what I kind of look for and in games like this, so. Craft the max. I mean, you have your, your small little crafting section. You could probably... It probably goes pretty extensive in it, but I'd... I'm more focused on the story right now, trying to figure out what's going on and who's actually right and who's actually wrong and doing things the right way or wrong way. I kind of have a place where I'm at where it's like okay these people are doing these people are doing this it's kind of messed up these people seem to be doing things the right way that's why I kind of stated in last episode I kind of side more with the PKs just because they seem to actually want to help the people in the damn People just seem super rebellious against that, and that's just not really how things are gonna work well together. Um, if everybody doesn't see eye to eye on how things should be ran, then things aren't gonna go well at all, so. As of right now. Jack and Joe are in the tower. They're gonna blow it up. Fuck. You can't let that happen. The tower's mined. Try and disarm the charges. Fast. 
Um, as of right now, I kind of side along with the PKs. I feel like they're there to do the job right, and, uh... Wow, shit. And the, the Bazaar people just kind of seem like they're just not happy with the way that things are ran, and... They want it to be done their way, and... That's all fine and dandy, it just... With all the shitty, shady stuff I've seen... Over the last few episodes, I'm just kind of against it a little bit. Especially, like, Barney getting greedy over these crystals. So he lets his buddy die in order to... I just... Not, not a fan of that. I just feel like there's a better way to, to go about that situation. Okay, so I can't grip on there. Alright, there's gotta be a way up. So it sounds like the brotherly combo is, uh, having an argument right now. Sweet. Um, okay, I can go up right there. Glad I saw that. I probably would have missed that, honestly. Don't want to risk, but I guess we're fucking going, f going for it, baby. Holy! Made it after all. Jack holes or the PK. They'll be on us the moment we come down from here, buddy. Fuck, we lost it, man. We lost it. We can't fight everyone. That's why it's time for fireworks. Nobody's getting out alive. How do they not no, see me come in this motherfucker, bro? Hey, who's there? Stop! Or we'll blow the goddamn tower, I swear! I found the bombs. Let's talk. The time for talking is over. We're gonna fuck this place up. You're not listening. You're done. I want it to be over. And to leave the city safely. I help me, and I'll help you. You're fooling yourself, Jack. Nobody's letting us out of here alive. Look, I am a pilgrim. Let's just blow it up already. I dare you. I know you won't do it. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. <laughs> fuck it up. <laughs> I know. I'm scared. Joe, wait. Joe, hey, isn't that the pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Pope. So what? Don't you get it? If he's a pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust anyone. I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance. Fucking listen to me for once. Well, play nice with Barney? What for? To make him get the fuck out of the bazaar. After what we found out from the peacekeepers. We tipped off the fucker. Gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. About what? Well, about Luke is wanting to take him in on weapons charges, among others. But set a trap for him for weeks. And instead of politely getting the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. 
So, Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? <clears throat> calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Get us out of the city, Pilgrim. To the nearest safe settlement. And no one will die here. I mean, I did, I did take the bombs. Um. I don't bargain with extortionists and murderers. Well, now look at the saint. The pilgrim wants to preach to us. Oh, you fucking fool! Do it, Jack. Now. Goodbye, bizarre. What? What happened? Your toys don't work. You. You did this? You pay for that. <laughs> he literally told you he did this shit, dude. What the fuck? I, <laughs> he literally fucking said, Your bomb's not gonna work, dog. I took it down. You won't take us alive. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, baby. Let's go. All right, so what now, Aiden? Smart guy. Who gets control of the water? Yeah, that's that's the big question here, Chief. You sign a facility to peacekeepers or survivors, they start controlling the zone around it. When a faction takes over a zone, it introduces its structures. Peacekeepers start installing combat-focused traps, while survivors build parkour helpers to make traversal easier. The more facilities you assign to a faction, the stronger it gets, so it can install even better structures. The current state of city alignment can be accessed in the map menu. All right. I mean, yeah, like I said, I mean. Oh, man, although. Like, I feel really bad taking away the water from the survivors, but at the same time, you know, like... It just, it, it makes... Uh, it just makes sense, man. Because, I mean, that's the main goal for us is to, to get to our sister. We gotta get there, so that's what we're doing. Sent skill points, yes, yeah, see. I mean. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it just it makes more sense. Um, let's see here: far jump or sleek runner or safe landing. Dart temporarily increases your movement speed, which allows you to jump across wider gaps, reach higher ledges, or run longer walls. 
right now we're gonna go for safe landing because I seem to fall off the roof a lot, so. Hey then, where the fuck are you? Barney knew Lucas was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Maybe we should check out Barney's hideout at the Hotel Tango. I'll make sure the place is safe. All right, where are we going? Are we going this way? The butchers are greatest enemy. <laughs> you can go search Barney's stuff. The coast is clear now. All right, so now I can build this little tower. After I get my stamina back, anyways. <laughs> All right, I'll give I'll give the survivors this tower right here. Gives them a base call. <laughs> Close to the water source at least. Get up there. Hell yeah. I don't know, shit, I might just give this to the PKs too. Just so they have something. Oh, activate PKs one mil. Sweet. I don't even have to decide, it's already decided. Awesome. I mean, either way, it's a safe zone for me, so that's fine. When when bad things start coming out about the PKs, so. So the place should be empty now, but I don't know when they'll be back. That's fine. You seen them near the water tower? I'm gonna go this way. Seriously, why are you struggling right now? Fuck it, bro. The shit. Alright, so either way, I have to get up there. Just don't know... My guy won't seem to climb on the structure itself, so... So confused, bro. Hmm. Oh, hey, look, a ladder. Imagine that. Ah, fuck it. 
we'll just go in here since we don't know when somebody's coming back. Sick. I find it hard to believe that nothing is there. Here's something. Wait, what the hell? Oh, fuck! That's... That's human skin! Hakon, I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Why are you going through my sister's stuff? Didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is... We didn't... A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko. Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! <sighs> 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 That was easy enough. <laughs> Where's the girl? She wasn't here. She hasn't shown her face anywhere for a good couple of hours. D do you know what it means? He wanted to show off. Son of a bitch wanted to prove that he killed Lucas. So you're a cannibal now or some shit, Barney? It wasn't me! It's him! He framed me! Okay, we're taking him to the station. He'll give us the whole story soon enough. Easy peasy, baby. You did good, Aiden. Meet me in my office. <clears throat> Try to fulfill my end of the deal. You're right. Shit, did I miss a chest in there or some shit? Oh, can I not get to it yet? What the fuck? Fine. <laughs> nothing that's good though it gives us progress and the progress that we wanted too on top of that so that'll be oh shit that hurt Oh, 
sweet. I need to make it daytime though. Where's my bed at? Is it over here on the side like usual? Yeah, there it is. Sweet. Wait till morning. That's the one that's equipped. Ooh, that one's way better. Mm. 129s, that means those are better. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get rid of those. Let's see. Sell this one and this one. Sell these. Is the key to the front door of Marco's shop only worth a dollar? I uh, will pass on selling that then, sir. Let's see. Gear Armor 2 is for tank, brawler. I definitely need more immunity boosters just in case. Holy shit. Right, we're gonna go with this one and we're also gonna get a uh, immunity booster and then we're gonna get three of these as well so we're of the two that he has and one two two med kits awesome sweet time to go to the PK place I'm gonna go meet Ader at the PK Metro Station. See what this man has to say, and then we're gonna end this episode on that. Uh, we'll start because I have a feeling it's gonna put us somewhere else. Something else is gonna happen. It's not gonna be this easy, I don't think. So I think whatever is about to happen is gonna be something big. So we'll probably have a little bit longer episode 13. Or episode 14. Might be episode 14. I can't keep up anymore. I'm sure I said whatever it was at the beginning of this episode. I just can't remember it right now. So, Whatever big is about to happen will be explained in the next episode for sure. Alright, here we go. Going into this last meeting for the episode. You killed the commander. Where'd you get the idea? Your sick head? Or from your little sister? Fuck you! I hated the guy more than most. But even I'm not stupid enough to have killed him. You know, whenever I catch someone, even red-handed, they deny it till the very end. Maybe you are stupid enough to have done that. Maybe you're a moron, even. <laughs> you're trying to piss me off, so I kill you right here. No, no, no. That's not my game. You're going to be tried and convicted. Why 
Why did you carve out his tattoo? I'm telling you, I don't know, because I didn't do it. I go crazy sometimes, sure, but I ain't no fucking psycho. Oh, you're the biggest psycho I know. I bet someone ordered you to kill Lucas and you had to bring them proof. Simple. Focus, you fucking PK. I told you, it wasn't me, understand? Prove it. Fuck! Even I know asking me to prove a negative means you got nothing. Don't they teach you that in PK school, you fucking fuck? Waste of time. So you kill Lucas. What happens next? I don't know, asshole. Because I didn't do it. Hurt me, and I'll take revenge. But I'm not a cold-blooded killer. Forget it, Aiden. Punks like him just want to cause chaos, their favorite flavor. We're done here. This idiot won't tell the truth. Why would I lie? I have less to gain by lying to you than I did if I'd killed Lucas. Which I didn't. Don't expect rational thought from anyone who needs a separate brain just to control his sphincter. You're the one talking out of his asshole. Give me a fucking break. This piece of skin is evidence. Solid evidence. Let's not waste any more time on this piece of garbage, Aiden. He'll get a trial, followed by a death sentence soon enough. What about our agreement? It still stands. Go to the Metro Tunnels. I'll meet you there after we've disposed of Barney. But there's one more thing. Always. Oh, I need a favor. Of course you do. Well, once you get to the center, my wife and kids are there. Will you give them something for me and tell them that I'm safe? You don't have anyone you trust more to handle this for you? Maybe I don't. As long as this isn't arsenic and you're not setting me up. It's not. Your dress is on it. So, Barney goes from saying he, he did it to that lady to not doing it. So now, I guess he's going to be tried. Saying he didn't do it. So that's the butch is our greatest enemy. His that's a uh, black Monday bombings and the death of two million. That's a tough one, dude. But anyways, like I said, we got her. We got her pass to the center. We got to deliver a letter for Ader to his family. So I'm going to end the episode here and start up the next one. So uh, hope you all have a good day and we'll see you in the next episode. This shit is getting pretty good. I, I mean, it's it's been good, but I mean, now we're getting into where we wanted to be at the beginning of all this to begin with. So if you enjoyed the video, if you're enjoying the series, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe. That really lets me know I'm doing good. If you didn't, um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what I'm doing wrong, what I can improve on. Everybody have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one.